Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer with Keysight Technologies. And today, I thought we'd take a look at the electrical signals inside of an AC synchronous motor. Now, you'll find a lot of diagrams of how an AC synchronous motor works, but I thought it'd be interesting to actually look at the electrical signals that drive the motor. So the first, I'm gonna start with a couple questions. Is this a start capacitor? And number two, how much voltage do you think is across our capacitor? Now our motor is being powered with our AC source. Our AC source is outputting 110 volts at 60 hertz. And as you can see, the AC source is making several measurements of our motor, the power and also power factor. We also have a power analyzer and the power analyzer is able to measure the voltage across the coils, the current through the coils, and then the power in each of the coils. So let's start with our yellow coil. And as you can see, that's where we're applying the 110 volts. It's a nice, clean sine wave being applied across that coil. The second coil is actually shifted by 90 degrees, and that's actually because of our capacitor. And this capacitor is actually a what's called a run capacitor. And so its purpose is actually to shift the signal on the second coil by 90 degrees. So the motor, the fields are always changing and that's what causes an AC synchronous motor to work is it just relies solely on the AC fields causing a change in the magnetic fields and the rotor of the motor is actually chasing those magnetic fields. Now one of the other things that was interesting is you'll notice right away is if you go to the power, the green coil is getting about twice as much power as the yellow coil. And the reason for that is, is that capacitor, is that the capacitor in, in series with the coil actually has a lower reactance. And so reactance is much like resistance for AC. And so having lower resistance, you get more current flowing through that coil. So you can see that the current is actually a little bit higher than the yellow and the voltage is a little bit higher. When you multiply those two, you get the, the much higher power. We can actually bring up our analyzing panel on the analyzer and so you can more clearly see it. So that it shows the voltage across the first is what we expect, 110 volts. <clears throat> and then we have 143 on, across our second coil. You can also see the um, higher current through the second coil and, and then there's that power that's, that's twice as large. So I thought that was pretty interesting that the, um, you know, so much of the energy of the motor is actually coming from just one of the coils. So one of the things we can do with our AC synchronous motor is we can actually change the direction of rotation of the motor by applying the, our line voltage to the other coil. So I'll go ahead and make that change. So now we're putting our 110 volts across the other coil. And as you can see, our yellow coil has slightly higher voltage, slightly higher current, and it has the much higher power. So now it's doing most of the work why the motor is turning in the opposite direction. One other interesting thing is, is when we first looked at the um, power measurements on our AC source, we noticed that the motor has a pretty good power factor, is at 95. So what that means is when you add these two currents together, it should be right on top of our um, voltage measurement. There should be um, no difference in the phase. So let me go ahead and um, switch direction of the motor real quick. And then we're gonna use the math feature inside the power analyzer to add our currents together. And we're gonna overlay it on top of the voltage. And you can see like it's just right on top of it. So a really cool little AC motor that has a great um, power factor. So I asked two questions at the beginning of the video. That was, is our capacitor a start capacitor? And actually I answered it during the video. It's actually a run capacitor. So it was used to split the voltage for each of the coils. The second um, question was how much voltage is ac across the capacitor? And it was kind of fun, the math actually worked out. If you take the ca capacitance, you multiply it by the frequency, it, it actually came up with 176 volts and we measured with a voltmeter, and yep, it's 176 volts across the capacitor, so don't touch the capacitor. We were able to look at the electrical signals inside of our AC synchronous motor. Again, there's lots of diagrams on the internet of how an AC synchronous motor uses the, the, the fluctuation in the AC voltage to um, rotate, but I thought it'd be fun to actually take a look at the signals that are inside the motor. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.